Okay, try to make the breath your object. Don't focus on the sound. The helicopter is doing its business. It's not your business. Your business is to stay here with the breath. This is one of our problems, is that we're always paying attention to other people's business and neglecting our own. It's figuring out where you're responsible and, and learning how to carry those responsibilities in a skillful way. That's a lot of what the practice is about. One of the basic principles of the Buddha said the difference between a wise person and a fool is a wise person takes on his or her own responsibilities and leaves other people's responsibilities to them. So your responsibility right now is the mind is causing suffering to itself. What are you going to do about that? Well, there is something you can do about it. That's the good news of the Buddha's teachings. You can figure out what's causing the stress and realize that it's not necessary. It's something that you can let go, it's something you can stop doing. And it's as simple as that. It's just like carrying something around and realizing, hey, this is awfully heavy. And you look at it, and it's just a pack of garbage, basically. Sometimes there are a few things of value in the garbage, but for the most part it's just old stuff you're carrying around. And you realize, I've been carrying this around. Who knows how long I haven't been paying attention to it. Maybe that's why it feels so heavy, and you put it down. So when you see old things coming up, there may be a few jewels scattered in the garbage. But you have to ask yourself, are, are they really worth that much? Are they worth carrying this around? Because sometimes what looks like jewelry is, or what looks like gems is just old glass. So try putting it down. Whatever comes up, try putting it down. See what happens. The things that you do hold on to are the things that are dharma, the, thing, the, the object of your me meditation, the object of your concentration. You hold on to that. You don't let that go. But anything else that you want to pick up while you're meditating, realize that this is just old garbage, just old stuff. The same sorts of things coming round and round and round again. And as long as you try to carry it around, you're going to be weighed down. When you put it down, okay, whatever weight it has, it's not the weight on you. And it's not going to come after you to ask to be picked up. It's your, it was your decision to pick this sort of stuff up to begin with. So when you see that, you can just leave it there. The mind is a lot lighter. You've learned an important lesson. That the suffering that weighs down the mind is not the stuff that comes from outside, it's what the mind does to itself. Unfortunately, we have enough clarity of mind that we can see this. We don't have to have someone else come and take the loads off of us. We can put the loads down ourselves. 